sets of players now walk out behind the referee. Your referee this afternoon, Maria Planas, and her assistants. Plenty of smiles. As there is a shake of hands between the two teams. Before competition commences between the two sides. Well, in terms of Sevilla, from that 3-0 win against Real Sociedad, just one change from that side. Emma Gabarro starting with Anna Franco dropping to the bench. Too many changes for the home side. Confirm a few more changes for Levante after a pre match photograph. Their captain comes across De Hilaria. Nago wearing the captain's armband for the home side. So confirmation of the Levante starting lineup this afternoon and the big loss is up front for them today. Uh, Mara Ramirez, the Colombian, injured on international duty. 11 goals for her in the league this season, but not available uh, today. Uh, and Dover starts up front instead. So that the uh, force change made by Levante this afternoon uh, and Dover the player who starts up front. A couple of changes in defence as well. Caligaris and uh, Paula Thomas coming into the defence. The players that they replace dropping to the bench for this game. Christian Toro ready arms in pockets on the edge of the technical area and Sevilla try to go for goal early oh and it's a really early goal and what a fantastic start for the home side Martin Prieto within less than a minute has given Sevilla the lead here well the first real attack the first real chance and a goal for Martin Prieto back at Sevilla, her eighth league goal of the season. Well, the Levante defence failed to clear, and I'm not sure, I wondered if Payne might have a chance, but instead it was sort of laid into the path of Martin Prieto. Not Schlong again. Some cross in from the left hand side. It goes across the goal mouth, and that's the equaliser. And it's all square here. Two early goals to make it 1 1 early on. Well, the cross started on the left hand side, bounced out for a ball back in from the right. A really good ball, ball right across the goal mouth, and it is. Erica, who gets the equaliser for Levante. See the ball in from the left hand side. I think Erica just keeping herself onside as that cross comes in. Up by Tatiana Pinto. Comes back for a well, a powerful shot from absolutely nowhere, it's Banos who 
got behind that effort. That was 30 yards or so out, the effort from Banos. Levante have won themselves a corner. It's an in-swinger, it scuffs off a head and it goes straight in. Well, that makes it goal number two and it's Pinto who gets it. A decent corner. I think the severe defence are wondering why they hadn't kept an eye on her. Good corner in. Pinto got highest. Just ticking down those seconds and waiting for the referee to blow for half time. It comes to Redondo who is for Andanova. Could be a late attempt here. Andanova to the far post comes across. And as we head into half time, it is Pinto that gives Levante their third of the game. But that most definitely hers. The cross from Andanova. Severe with some chasing to do to get the ball and also to get themselves back into this game. Chested down by Andanova, comes back out to Erica. And this time it will count. Well, she was just in the right place at the right time as Sevilla tried to stop the first attempt. Well, the cross that came in, initially it was uh, Andanova, whose shot was pushed away by the goalkeeper. Erica was right there to collect the loose ball. She just had to poke out a boot. It's going to be Martinez who takes it. Finds a head and it goes in. Sevilla with a goal back in this game to reduce Levante's lead to just two goals. Nine minutes left to play of the 90. And a header in from a corner. Martin Prieto, who was down with an injury, gets back to her feet as the referee blows for full time. Such a positive start for Sevilla in this match, who were hoping to extend such an impressive recent run of their own. It finishes Sevilla 2, Levante 4.